Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on that Labor Day Monday, first trading day in September. The Yanks won't be in today, uh, but let's just take a look at what's going on. Looks like it's going to be a highly politicized week. Let's start with Dollar Cad and all this NAFTA nonsense. Um, the next leg up in Dollar Cad is confirmed through 131.04. Don't expect huge movements today um, with America on holiday, but you got to watch this. You got to watch the headlines. God knows where this NAFTA thing is going, um, and if somehow Canada gets kicked out of NAFTA, it's it's just pretty flatly not good for Canada. So we need to watch this. Could be just blowhard from the American president. Uh, or could be real. We don't know. Speaking of blowhard and real, uh, this week we'll find out whether there'll be an additional $200 billion in tariffs put on China. Uh, when this whole tariff bullshit started, we were all kind of like, well, tough talk, negotiations, but it's not really going to happen. But at the end of this week, if there's no agreement, these tariffs will be put into place. And I think this is going to rattle, um, rattle the markets a bit. Aussie, as we all know, has been sell on rally, sort of based on this, uh, this is bad for China. Uh, it's also bad for the U.S., but more bad for China. We broke 72 the figure on um, Friday. We're still sell on rally. Uh, we are. We're expecting today stops above 72 to figure those who went short and left stops above get done, and we might move up to say 72, 25, 30 area. This is a sell up there. Um, until further notice, uh, looks like Aussie is going to continue lower and get through this sort of 7150 area next and then eventually our our uh, target on all this is 68 68 40 so there's still room for lower Aussie you know another 350 points from here emerging markets we talked about it uh, when New York gets back on Tuesday they're all going to look at these emerging markets they're going to look at the global situation. They're going to look at Argentina. They're going to look at Indonesia. I think Indonesia printed a 20-year low today. Let's have a look at dollar IDR. I know no one, no one trades that anymore, but there she is. 14,777. Man, I like them apples. Pull up the monthlies. Anyway, just another case of uh, emerging markets getting slammed. Um, this is going to move into what we call sort of the second or third inning um, this week. So America gets back. A lot of these asset management companies are going to sit down on Tuesday and have their trading meetings and their strategy meetings, and they're going to come up with. Um, this amazingly unoriginal idea that emerging markets are going to get crushed. It's going to be risk off. Um, we don't really care if they're right or not. We just want to ride the wave of them putting this position on this week. So we're looking for further continuation higher. Uh, dollars are. Core longs still the way. We expect 15 to break this week. Uh, dollar Turkey also. Uh, we're not trading Dollar Turkey, but we expect this to break 683 this week and probably test the highs, which are not 707. The highs are 724 this year, so um, keep that in mind if you are trading it. Let's go back to uh, Dollar Yen and Euro. These are more sort of standard proxies for risk. Dollar Yen had a bit of a confusing. Um, confusing 
today on Friday, which was risk off, but we have this tail here. So we're going to be a little bit cautious on dollar yen until we get through 110.68. But what we think this week is um, 110.80 is going to go. This is the 200 day, and there will be just a cartload of risk below 110 the figure, and then more risk below 109.80. And as we get closer to this, this will become like a magnet. So we're going to use this point here, 110.68, as our bull bear pivot. And once we get through this, we'll start working on a core short. And then we'll be adding through the figure and adding through 80 for a move down to 109.30. Uh, that said, we're not super bullish euro, even if dollar yen collapses. BTPs, the BTP boon spread is widening, but if you just ignore the boons, which most people caution me not to do, um, and you just look at the BTPs, 122.30 is a very, very interesting and big point. We just nipped through 50 on Friday. Of course, Fitch kind of said some negative things late Friday. It was around 11 p.m. European time. Uh, the U.S. stock market was closed. If this gets below 122, I guess this point is 122.24. This one is 122.24. Let's call it 122.20. Then we're going to attack this low here. And this will be negative for Euro and Euro Yen. And this will mean that the fourth quarter trade might be let's attack Europe. So keep a very close eye on this. This is our canary in the coal mine for European stress. BTPs 122.30. Cable, Sterling Swiss. Pff, total disaster, really. We had that big bullish engulfing through the trend line. Yada, yada, yada. Sterling went straight down. Sterling Swiss went straight down. As you guys saw on Twitter, we've already puked out of this. Um, we're just leaving it alone now. The Brexit headlines. May said some bullshit over the weekend. No second referendum. Um, looks like it's just going to be a hard slog of fierce moves up, slow moves down in sterling so we're going to just sit back and watch that for a few days and see what's happening dollar swiss as we talked about turned um, 96.50 turned out to be the low we have a turn bar here the forced liquidation of all the C ctas the last three days of the last month are over market is clean shall we say uh, neutral um, the problem with buying dollar swiss it's a slow move up, right? So as Euro goes lower, Dollar Swiss does go higher. But if Euro is in crisis, they smack Dollar Swiss, they smack Euro Swiss. So it's a slow move back higher. So if you're into the sort of grindy, slow, low volatility pairs, this is what Dollar Swiss is going to turn into. You can stick a bit in. It's sort of 78 today. Stops below 50. You don't want to break trade this to the top side, maybe back through the 200 day, but we're a long ways away from that. You could probably trade this core long, but I would encourage you, uh, if you're bullish dollars, to go to Euro dollar and you know sell rallies today into 116.48. Quickly, U.S. equities, sort of a bearish but bullish day lower highs lower lows we broke this uh, closely watched neckline but then at the end of the day zipped back up to 2907 stopping all of these neckline traders out like we said before we're not really uh, excited on the downside till we get below 2873 it's only 1% away, um, so be vigilant, but let's just wait. Let's just wait for some kind of confirmation. Uh, 
for the downside to be back in play. All right, that's all I got for now. Good luck today, uh, those of you on holiday. Enjoy it. I think um, things start in earnest tomorrow. Good luck out there. Talk to you soon. Ciao.